Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you here once again. It's time for another word in season. So let's just step down and listen up and hear what the Lord has for us today. season it's me Effa and I'm here again with another word from the Lord about the season and the times we're in as we all know our God speaks and as he speaks we obey we follow we hearken and we seek to just do what what will make him will please him and bring us into into destiny so the word for today is um, change begets change that means change brings forth change change births change now before we start i'll just say a word of prayer for us amen in jesus name father we thank you for today we thank you for giving us the grace and the opportunity to once again come before you and hear a word a word that will move us forward a word of of direction a word of instruction even a word of correction father we ask that as we listen and as we hear that we will not just be hearers but we will be doers of that which you are speaking unto us because we know father that our end our end is good that the end of obedience is always victory is always favor is always miracles and breakthrough we thank you because we're a God who constantly feeds us with your word you constantly help us to know that you are with with us through all our struggles and through all that we go through we pray father that as this word comes forth that it will bring change in our lives thank you father thank you for all who are hearing and listening to this word no matter what time it comes to them in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 so everyone i just thank god for today i thank god because we're indeed in a season of change we're indeed in a season and a time of something new even as the lord has been speaking to us through so many prophets through so many people the lord has been you know declaring promises making a lot of promises to us telling us it's a season of change it's a season of breakthrough it's a season of miracles god has been saying things are going to happen god has promised a turn you know a shift in this season into something new for each one of us and so we bless his name but then over the past few days the lord began to speak with me about change change the word change change and he keeps bringing that word to me in dreams bringing that word to me in visions the lord has just been speaking about being changed and being transformed and the lord you know finally spoke this word to me change begets change that means change births change change brings forth change change you know announces change and all that the lord is trying to say through this particular phrase is that when we change certain things about ourselves that we will see this change that he has promised we will see these promises we will see the miracles and the breakthroughs we will see everything he has declared concerning this month of august and ongoing into into the next few months everything that he has promised he says we will see the manifestation of all that he has spoken when we ourselves make some changes make some changes and i'm just going to give us scriptures that the lord gave i'm going to put some extra scriptures in the description box but for now i'm just going to give us two particular scriptures that the lord gave me for today's message and one of them is in second kings chapter 7 you can read from verse 3 to the end to the end and also the other one um can be seen in um, romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 1 and 2 and we're going to read the one in romans chapter 12 verse 1 and verse 2 and romans chapter 12 verse 1 and verse 2 says and so dear brothers and sisters i plead with you to give your bodies to god because of all he has done for you let them be a living and holy sacrifice the kind he will find acceptable this is truly the way to worship him and verse 2 is actually the key verse here he says don't copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect and i want to just hamper on this particular few words 
it says let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think by changing the way you think the way you think and i'm reading from the new living translation you can read from any translation you you know you have or you desire i just love this trans translation the new living trans translation it says let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think by changing the way you think the lord is trying to tell us my brothers and my sisters that yes i'm bringing change Yes, I'm bringing miracles, but I need you to meet up with what I'm trying to do in your life. I need you to make some tweaks and some changes in your ways, in your thoughts, in, in the way you conduct business, in your relationships. I need you to make changes, certain changes. You are so used to doing things a particular way, but I need you to listen to my voice because I'm about to bring something new into your life, but I want you to also make some moves and you to also take bold steps and you to also realize evaluate and assess yourself and find out ask me what is it i need to tweak what is it i need to change that will bring birth my miracle what is the change i need to make that will bring forth the change in my own life and the lord gave me the story of the four lepers that's the story we see in, in second kings chapter seven the story of the four lepers i won't go into reading the whole of the chapter you know of, of the chapter seven but it's basically the sum of it is that the samaria the city of samaria was besieged and and you know they had gone into so much famine there was so much hunger and poverty there was a lack there was no food to eat so much so that people began to eat their own children and then the king approached you know uh, um e elisha the prophet and elijah elisha gave a prophecy he said by this time tomorrow there will be change things will change you know and there were doubts but Elisha had spoken the word. And let's just take that as the promise that God has given you, my brother and my sister. God has made a promise to you that this month I am going to do something. This month I am going to make changes. This month I'm going to bring a change. I'm going to turn things around for you. This month I will manifest myself. But yet it took the actions of four lepers to birth the miracle. How those four lepers changed their perspective. They changed the way they think. Lepers, leprous people were people who were known to stay stay away from them. And they too were known to keep away from people. They were usually outside the gates of the city. They were usually isolated. They were usually ignored. People ran away from them because they didn't want to contract the, the, the disease. But this particular day, they were so starved, so hungry. And they said to themselves, you know what? If we sit here, we will die. And if we go, we will still die. But guess what? We're still not going to sit here. We're going to make a move. And I'm just going to read just that part where they made a decision to take a step, to make a change in the way they would normally do things. They could have been afraid. They could have said, you know what? I don't want people to, 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 to shame us. We don't want to be insulted. You know, we're always ignored. You know, we're not supposed to make a move. Let's sit still and let's be quiet. But no, they made a move. They made a move. Second Kings chapter seven. I'm going to read that verse from verse three. This is after Eli Elisha had prophesied into their lives. And they say now there were four men with leprosy sitting at the en entrance of the city gates. Why should we sit here waiting to die? They asked each other. We will starve if we stay here. But with the famine in the city, we will starve if we go back there. So we might as well go out and surrender to the Aramean army. If they let us live, so much the better. But if they kill us, we would have died anyway. We would have died anyway. What is that risk you need to take? What is that step you need to take? What is that bold action that you need to, to do to bring and birth forth your change? What is it? Sometimes we're stuck in a mindset. Oh, they always treat me like this. Oh, they always behave like this to me. Oh, you know, what would people say about me? Oh, no, I can't step out. People who step out usually get this or that. Or, oh, usually, you know, you are stuck in the usual. But the Lord is saying to us today, change your way of thinking. Change your perspective. Allow me to change the way you think. Allow me to speak to you so when i speak to you you will be bold enough to take that step allow my spirit to breathe boldness into you to breathe courage into you allow me to enable you to enable you take certain steps that will bring change into your life my 
brothers, my sisters, my friends, it is time to take bold steps for Christ. Yes, the breakthrough is there. It's there. It's waiting. It's coming down upon us. It's coming now. God has spoken, but he also requires you to allow him to move in you and to move you to action. Yes, it's not all the time that you are moved to a particular action, but sometimes God requires us as we listen to him to take certain steps and to make some certain moves, some moves that are like bold steps, risks that we need to take, especially entrepreneurs, businessmen and women, where in a season where it looks like businesses are failing and flopping, they're saying, oh, restaurants are doing this and this is happening all around it. But if you hearken to the voice of God, if you quiet in your spirit, come close to him, allow him to show you what you need to change, allow him to lead you in the direction of favor in the direction of something new i'm telling you there is favor there is breakthrough there are business opportunities there are connections and contacts that the lord will lead you to in this season that will cause you to flourish in spite of all that is going on in spite of any economic situation god will lead you to victory god will lead you oh yes to favorable conditions and places God will show you the path that you should go in. You know, don't be like that sluggard in, in um, I think it's in Proverbs. Uh, let me see. I, I can't quite remember. I think it's in um, Proverbs chapter 22. I think that's it, verse 13, where it says, the lazy man says, there's a lion. <laughs> there's a lion, I'll be slain. So he doesn't go out. So he doesn't take action. So he doesn't make moves. He, he makes excuses instead of making moves. No, no more excuses. Let's quiet in our spirits and let's listen to what the Lord has to say to us. The instructions, the directions, the leading of God to birth our change. Because indeed it is time for change. If we look through this whole Bible, this whole word of God that, 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 that we, we hold on to, we see in so many places the, the men and women of God taking action making changes, doing the impossible, the unusual, in order to birth their miracle. Remember Paul and Silas in prison? Why would prisoners begin to sing and to pray? Is that what they should have been doing? Normal prisoners would be sad, some would be miserable, some would be bitter, and the others would just be crying. But Paul and Silas decided, no, in this prison we will sing and we will pray. They had no idea that their singing and praying was going to birth their breakthrough was going to bat the prison doors being opened. My brother and my sister, in this season, let's ask ourselves, what is it God wants us to do? Does he want me to do a praise, a praise session? Does he want me to draw closer in worship as hard as it seems, as impossible as it seems, as, as what my situation seems to be facing is just, it's, it's, it's like doom. But if you decide in your spirit, I'm going to make changes, I'm going to do something different and something new. You are getting ready to birth your miracle. You are getting ready to birth that turn, that 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 swift change, that 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 you know change in direction. Like it's like God is saying, "I'm bringing something new," even as He has promised, new, new, new. But He wants us. He's calling us today, as He has been speaking to me in the last few days. I need you to make changes as well. Changes as well. Change in your mindset. Change in the way you think. Allow me to help you. Allow me to show you what I need you to change. Sometimes it's even in the way we, we approach people or it's in the way we interact with people. You know, we're in a time when we're supposed to keep our distance from people and, and stay away and some people take it to the next level like, oh, don't talk to me, don't come near me. But what if in this season, in this season, it's a time when even though that person is six feet apart from you or 20 feet apart from you, give a smile, do something different. Don't always keep that frown on. Be different in your approach. There are people maybe you're not used to associating with. And God is saying in this season, I want you to associate with those people. I want you to smile and laugh and joke with those people. It's time for change. It's time for change. Change is what births change in our lives. And the Lord is calling us today. He's calling us at this time to begin to make changes in our lives. To so allow him to renew us in our mind, to allow him to speak to us, to allow him to whisper what it is we need to do that is different, to show us visions, to direct us, to lead us in the way that will, will bring forth our change, in a way that will bring forth our miracles, because indeed it is time for change. It is time to do something unique, something different, something you haven't done before. 
something you would never even have considered doing at all. But the Lord is saying it's time for you to make those changes. And I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, even as we go forth, that the Lord will help us, he will guide us, and he will show us what needs to be changed and what needs to be tweaked. And again, the Lord just keeps bringing to my spirit entrepreneurs, business people. I want to do something new in your life. So says the Lord, I want to do something new. But I need to make changes and I need you to make changes in your life. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for this word that he has spoken forth. I pray that this word of God will, will, will just touch you in your spirit and will cause you to go back and retreat into him so we can hear what he's saying to us. So we can hear what he's asking us to do. What are the changes he's asking us to do? I can give so many examples. Even Esther made a change. Esther said, I've not gone before the king because I'm not allowed to go until he calls for me, but I'm going to change things now. I am going to go before the king, whether I die or not. She took a bold step. My brother and my sister, I pray that in this season, we'll all take very bold steps. And we will do and move as the Lord instructs us. We we'll bless the name of the Lord for today. We thank God for this word. I just want to pray concerning this word that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every word we have heard in today's broadcast, every word we have heard will, will birth something new in us, will cause there to be a stirring in our spirits. And that even as we are stirred in our spirits, we will rise up and we will begin to move as led by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for the change that you are bringing our way. We celebrate and we rejoice over it. And we thank you, Father, for all who has heard this, this word. We know that we shall all record victories and miracles and breakthroughs and testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, friends, I just want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. I want to quickly say this, that you know, when the Lord gives out a word, he's, he's speaking the word. The word might be not be for you, might be for someone else. So always, always. As, as we always say, test the spirit. Always find out the stage I'm in now. Is this word for me? Is, this, is it me the Lord is speaking to? Or is he speaking to the other people but not me? Always weigh words, you know, by what, what you are hearing also from the Lord or what the Lord is speaking to you in that season and in that time. Everybody has their own times and seasons. The word may, may not be for you at a particular time or season. Well, we bless the name of the Lord. Please um, remember to subscribe to this channel if, if this word touches you. Like the video, um, give it a thumbs up if you like it, you know, and also remember to share this video. That's the most important thing about hearing the word of God. There's so much joy in sharing it with someone who might need it, someone else who might need it. That's the joy in being, being friends and brothers and sisters. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next broadcast. Thank you.